Hey friends, today I'm making the chicken and stuffing casserole recipe in our season's best recipe book. And I'm just combining here some cream cheese, sour cream, cornstarch, and our rotisserie chicken seasoning, which is so good in soups and casseroles. Um, and once I get that all mixed together, I'm gonna slowly whisk in some chicken broth. Now I'm using our brilliance pan in our 13 by nine to make this. And I love it because it's impossible for things to stick to it. No matter how badly you burn your dinner, this thing is coming clean real easy. And I'm just throwing in some cubed up chicken thighs and the recipe calls for frozen carrots, but I have carrots in my fridge. So I'm just going to peel them up real quick with this pivoting vegetable peeler. How cool is that? And I love to use a paper towel to catch all of the peeling. So it's easy cleanup. And then I'm just chopping these up with our food chopper. If you don't have one of these, you need to grab one. It makes chopping anything super easy from like onions, carrots, celery, anything you need, tomatoes, whatever. Um, so that is a highly recommended product. And then we're just going to throw this into the pan. Um, I love to use this bench scrape anytime I want to transfer anything from my cutting board to a skillet or to a dish or anything I'm making. And then I'm going to put some frozen peas over top. Now you can use any vegetables that you have in your fridge. It's a great way to use leftovers. So just throw whatever you have in there. And this goes in the oven for about 45 minutes. And once it's done, it's going to look like this and it still has time to go. So yeah, the chicken wasn't looking real done, but um, we're not finished yet. So we're going to boil uh, three cups. So it's like the rest of the carton of chicken broth, butter, and then add in two boxes of stuffing and give it a stir and just throw a lid over top of it for a couple of minutes till it gets nice and fluffy. And then just put this over top of the casserole. And then she goes back into the oven and comes out looking beautiful. My family loved this. It also reheated really nicely. So this is a super simple weeknight meal. I highly recommend it. It was delicious. Hope you guys give this a try.